Hi, today we are making ora soup. Um, if you don't know what ora soup is, ora is a special Igbo soup from the eastern part of Nigeria, and that's what we're going to be making today. Authentic style, the Anambra authentic style. Okay, so every ingredient needed and used in this video will be in the description box so that's the cocoa yam i'm just going to put that on fire and let it boil cook actually until it's soft next is to wash the fishes i like to soak this in hot water because there are lots of dead insects inside this so i just wash that thoroughly i have a video on how to wash dried fish which you can also apply to stock fish and these are the ingredients we need palm oil peppers the washed fishes um this is called ogiri so now we're going to pluck the oral leaves now i like to <laughs> i like to pick this like one one like take my time to pick it but more i was tired and these ones i got seem to fall off the stalk quickly so i just dragged it down the stalk i was just dragging it down like that so um up next i put the meat on fire the worst meat i use goat meat and beef so i just spice that with um seasoning salt fresh peppers i didn't use onions for this because honestly that's what my mom taught me and i've been doing it that way for the longest time but i've eaten the one made with onions so and it was good as well but I, I guess I'm kind of used to it. I can't get myself to put onions on it. I don't know the, if there's a reason for not putting onions in any soup that has cocoa in it. Anyway, um, I let the meat cook until it was like halfway done. And then I added the stock fish. And when that boiled for some time, I added the blended cocoa yam. I've, with the blend, I blended the cocoa yam like with a lot of water. So you have to be careful with the amount of water you're using to cook the meat if you're going to use a blender so i added uziza leaves more peppers and um, crayfish adjusted the seasoning and let it boil very very well oh i added ogiri as well sorry and i let everything boil properly so this is what it is looking like after a good 17 minutes of boiling poto poto and i added the washed oral leaves and when i added it i didn't like stay it i just covered the pot let it cook and then i stirred everything together and your soup is ready thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye